What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central. In this video, we're going to talk about the brand new talisman system coming to Hero Wars Alliance. We're going to show off my brand shiny new talisman for the Hero Galahad. We're going to discuss the event and a little bit more here and there that you need to know uh, if you don't already. Let's get into it. Only It's only game. Why you have to be mad? And this is a contest giveaway video. It's a sweepstakes. All I need you guys to do is be a subscriber to the channel and leave your comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what of the six heroes that you want to get a talisman for. Uh, Aurora, Galahad, Astaroth, Maya, Nebula, or Faceless. Leave your account ID on September 1st at noon central time. That's 5 p.m. UTC. We're going to do a drawing. We're going to draw five comments at random. If you guys have a uh, mobile account ID in the comment, then you win. If you don't, then you don't. We'll pass that on to the community managers and you're going to win 2,000 Metacubes as a reward. So the first thing that you need to know, guys, is you got to be level 120. You have to have one of the heroes at level 120, like my Galahad here, but you also need to be uh, team level 120 in order to have access to the ability to level up to a level 120 hero. The talisman is going to be located right here on the character select screen. It replaces the hero XP button. Let me show you what I mean by that. Take a look at Ginger here at level 80. You can see where the button to level up her uh, hero level, uh, you know, use the XP potions here. It replaces this. I mean, if it's already level 120, what does it matter? And for a uh, comparison's sake, here is a level 120 Isaac. You can see it's just a full bar that's just sitting there. So that is where the talisman actually sits. All right, let's go back to Galahad here. Uh, boom. There we go. So the Talisman of War provides strength as well as critical hit rating. All right. You have a way to level it up using these material, the Mastery Crystal, and you'll have the ability to reroll it using the Cube material. All right. So there's two resources you need to chase in order to level up and re-roll your talisman. Now, before you get too far into this, you need to know if you're a free to play player or a low paying player, you need to wait, you need to hold off on doing some of your tasks before you go crazy with them uh, until you unlock more of the talismans. And, and that'll become more apparent as you see some of the tasks that are available. But basically what's happening is six heroes are getting a talisman and the reason why these heroes were chosen is due to their accessibility and their popularity uh, i'm not really sure why one or the other is you know here but some are not uh, that's neither here nor there eventually more heroes will get talismans as they see how this system rolls out this first event is kind of a trial run to see how uh, things are going to go and uh, you know like i said we're going to go with galahad and critical hit i th i think it's the most interesting i think that there are some other uh, better things for the current popularity popular teams uh, that are out there but uh, we're just gonna stick with Galahad for now so a quick review of the quests and the bundles just want to take a look like that first I I first of all a little bit of a, a, a nitpick if you will clicking on this should take me to some kind of dashboard that lets me click you know to the tasks to the bundles to the um, to the to the specific heroes or what have you. So there's a there's the login bonus, right? Mastery crystal. There you go, and you get more as you as you log in. You have level up the talisman, and this gives you those meta cubes, and this is what you use to re-roll. Okay, complete it every day. Okay, now you might be inclined to re-roll a bunch today, but actually you're gonna want to wait. You're gonna want to wait to have more heroes to re-roll their talismans for makes it easier to get the uh, the the materials to level up. Uh, reroll talisman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To level up. Reroll. Here you go. This is what I'm saying. To reroll every day. Right? Complete it every day before the end of the event. Uh, let's see. You can complete these quests during a special event. Win a PvP event using a hero that has a talisman equipped uh, 80 times. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. And this is where the tricky part of this event comes in, especially for free-to-play players. In order to have the highest chance to get arena battles completed, you need to have more heroes with talismans, right? Eh, kind of in a roundabout way. You can probably do fine without them, honestly. But uh, how are you going to do 80 PvP fights and win in like the last two days or so 
without spinning a bunch of emeralds and resetting over and over. 80 fights in one day for Arena is a lot, though, you know, not impossible. There are people that have already done it by the time you're watching this video. Uh, fight in the Grand Arena or Arena, you can complete this every single day. And then finally, begin expeditions. You can complete this every single day as well. So there are some of these daily tasks that you want to want to complete every day and uh, some that you're not. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I understand that there are, uh, you only have access to one or two of the, um, uh, of the heroes talismans at this time aurora and maya i'm not sure why they're limited and i'm not sure where you go to see that they're limited but uh, the rust will be unlocked as the six day event goes on now here are the bundles and here's another one of the uh, pieces of negative feedback that we see there is no way to buy these materials with emeralds all right so if you have a huge stockpile of emeralds you can't buy more uh, meta cubes or uh, the the whatever the crystal or the keeper dolls which by the way here's the uh, the new keeper doll item okay you can get keeper doll and you can get more keeper dolls uh, mastery crystals you can get uh let's see a bunch of miscellaneous materials uh, miscellaneous soul stones here doesn't look like you can get the re-roll material the meta cubes looks like you can just get the crystals out of these chests to level up the talisman and these offers are available they're 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 not bad and they do come with soul stones for uh, it looks like Aurora. Here's a skin stone one for 26, uh, 44, artifact focused one, uh, yeah, and then back down to the 699 one. How does this work basically is is what the, the main question is going to be. How does this actually work in practice? Where's my Galahad? You click on the talisman button and you need to level them up, right? Boom. You can see you unlock a slot at rank 10. Okay. So the main stats for, uh, for Galahad is strength, Right? And that doesn't change. This, the main stats for all the Talisman heroes do not change. In this case, we're dealing with Strength. So we're going to just go ahead and upgrade this to level 10. And then we get a, uh, a slot here. Okay, there we go. And now that you have access to the second stat, uh, and again, I'll put on screen now all six heroes and what their primary stats are and the secondary stat. The main thing that you need to know about Talismans and why they were implemented is because of their variability on stats. And if you take a look at... Uh, the eye up in the top left hand corner, you can see of the percentage chance to get the different ranks of critical hit chance. The absolute best you can get is 400, okay? And the absolute worst you can get is 200. Wow, so I actually, uh, I got the absolute worst probability for that roll uh, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put on screen right now the maximum values for each of the heroes, all right? So if you're trying to re-roll a, a given hero, let's say for example, Aurora, the max dodge chance that you can get is 6,000. And uh, while we're at it, the max critical hit chance you can get for Galahad is 6,000. They're basically their same formula. So the idea is you're gonna wanna level up these talismans. And I probably shouldn't level all of this up at once. I should probably spread this out over the course of the week to get more of the daily quests unlocked. You can see here, let me back out real quick, back out. Yeah, so you should you, complete this every day before the event ends. Because I leveled all the way up to 50, I robbed myself of the ability to uh, potentially level more, but that's okay, that's okay. So I got all of those meta cubes. I got 13,000 meta cubes and it takes, uh, what does it take, 100 to reroll? Let me go back into Galahad. I do really wish that there was an easier way to get to this right here. This is not a bad, did it wait a second how did it re-roll how did it go up i didn't re-roll as i leveled it up it changed that's interesting that was 200 right i'm gonna have to, have to go back and look at my my recording and see uh, this is actually not too bad so the maximum critical hit that you can get is 2000 times three is 6000 here's the probability of getting one critical hit i'm sorry one orange rating uh, or multiple orange ratings. Uh, looks like I did get lucky on the second slot and got the grand prize there. Very, very low probability of getting one. Almost impossible to get two, by the way. So two, three, 4,100. So 4,100 critical hit rating out of 6,000. That's more than two thirds. Is that good enough? I mean, we could re-roll. We could re-roll if we really wanted to just to see you know, what's gonna end up happening. I don't like it because I kind of like where we're at here, but that's okay. Let's, uh, sure, let's reroll. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what it looks like. Okay, so here's a, uh, here, here's, here's gonna be the frustrating part of this. Uh, let's see, 14, uh, 25, 3,500. All right, so I, I lost 600 crit rating by reroll, and that's unfortunate. Let's reroll again. Maybe we get a better value. Nope. I should have, 
Obviously, I should have stayed with one, right? I should have. But I think the best that you can do is to get one orange, one violet. And then the third slot, it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, I'm just, I'm, I'm not even getting a violet. I'm not even getting a violet outcome here. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, so I got one violet. So there's um, 32, 40. Actually, that's not too bad. 4,100. And this is uh, 32, 4,200. This is actually better than this one. Ah, all right. So guys, don't immediately dismiss your roll if it doesn't have an orange in here. Now, if you are trying to absolutely min-max and you just have, you know, unlimited money to keep re-rolling, then obviously you're going to keep going. But uh, I think... The, the highest chance to get a higher roll is going to be, you know, one of the orange and one of the violet. Let's see, 20, 3,700, that's still below. Let's just, let's just keep going here. See if we can get another orange one and see what the roll ends up looking like. Just for the fun of it. Now, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna caution you guys to not do all of your re-rolls in one day. Oh, that's really good. 4900 oh that's really good 4900 all right cool so this is an example of one that i would i would probably want to stick with for a little while 4900 i'd be happy with that safe yeah i'd be happy with that that's 800 stats higher than my first one with the critical hits uh i did spend a ton to get there but that's that's okay and this is a contest giveaway video it's a sweepstakes all i need you guys to do is be a subscriber to the channel and leave your comment in the comment section down below let me know what of the six heroes that you want to get a talisman for uh, aurora galahad astaroth maya nebula or faceless leave your account id on september 1st at noon central time that's 5 p.m utc we're going to do a drawing we're going to draw five comments at random if you guys have a uh, mobile account id in the comment then you win if you don't then you don't we'll pass that on to the community managers and you're going to win 2,000 meta cubes as a reward which is good for 20 additional re-rolls all right so if you guys are interested in some free stuff all you got to do is leave a comment choose a hero put your account id and that's it hope everybody's enjoying this new talisman system as much as i am i love you all good luck in dominion